Yo, what's up, boys? So today we're gonna be pushing live. Um, I'm at 6,500. This is on my newly level 12 account. Um, I I finally leveled it up from level 11. So, yep, I'm gonna be able to push higher um, this season. Probably get to 7,000 trophies with it. Um, so starting off the game, this guy's gonna have Pekka Bridge Man, and this. Is and okay let's see what he wants to do okay so yeah he, he has pekka bridge man for sure he has that royal ghost and um magic archer so that basically guarantees bridge man there's his battle ram because i don't have my um goblin cage and cycle anymore so that's a pretty good battle ram but um he's gonna have to probably peck on top of this so yeah, okay, he just hit 10, so he's gonna peck around top. I'm just gonna wait, and then I'm gonna drop a baby dragon, and force him to drop his, like, e -Wiz or Magic Archer. He can Magic Archer snipe this if he's good, but, um, I'll just, like, barbell it, so. Either way, I'm gonna barbell it, and yeah, he didn't really have enough elixir to protect that. I'm not too sure. Um... Unfortunately, that magic archer or that ghost is gonna walk away with one health, so I can't tornado it to my king tower. So that's pretty well played. So we're just gonna chill for a second, and he's probably gonna go peck in the back. So we're just gonna go ice wizard in the back um, because it's kind of what you're gonna have to do versus Pekka. Um, okay, we're gonna go Valkyrie to predict that he might go magic archer at the bridge, and then we're just gonna go in for a graveyard. And we're going to try and tornado the magic archer so it dies. And I'm going to have to bar, bar barrel it. That's fine, honestly. But if he pressures me right now, uh, I'm going to be just holding on my ice wiz so I don't mess it up. Which, if he's smart, he should pressure me because um, I have a bad cycle, but okay. So we're just going to go ice wiz in the back. Okay, so now he goes peck in the back. A little bit too late because now it's double elixir so i don't know i feel like pekka and single elixir is way stronger so um okay I'm just gonna hold out the fireball because he's bar he's gonna drop his magic archer unfortunately i miss his battle ram i don't know what the heck i i, I kind of thought he was gonna play his um bandit all the way up top but i guess he i guess he didn't go for that so that's weird so we're just gonna go bar barrel and then um graveyard so that he's forced to have um, my graveyard tank for the baby dragon so he has to drop a high e -wiz, and he didn't want to do that so we're just going to go goblin cage that's a pretty bad battle ram because we're going to get so much value um, we can just baby dragon and bar barrel on top of his magic archer and then we can valkyrie rid the pekka at last second yep and protect our isos and we're going to go for another graveyard um, I should have probably used it like one second earlier because I know he's just going to poison. Um, let's see what... Okay, so he just messed up his bandit. We're just going to go goblin cage because that's a pretty big mistake. And so we're going to go high baby dragon snipe. And then we'll go ice wizard and barb barrel on his magic archer. So um, we're going to fireball his ewits if he plays it. And yep, he basically just got trapped. Um... This is pretty easy. This guy's not playing very well. <coughs> We're just going to go Goblin Cage in the back. And we'll go Baby Dragon in the um, back left. Because Baby Dragon's really annoying for him. Um, unfortunately, I don't catch his bandit right there. So, we're just going to go Valkyrie in front of that Goblin Brawler just to help um, DPS down the P.E.K.K.A. And we're back to another goblin cage, so we're going to drop it one tile to the opposite lane so it pulls the P.E.K.K.A. and the battle ram. And then we're going to go baby dragon on top of this magic archer. And we're going to go for a graveyard because he just used his poison. And I'm going to go bar barrel. And then I'm going to pre-fireball because he's probably going to place e -Wiz, hopefully. Okay, so I hit the royal ghost at least, so it's not too bad. But um, looks like baby dragon, dragon actually splashes the tower twice. So that's really good for me, so... I'm going to drop a high baby dragon to predict his magic archer, and then I'm just going to go for a bar barrel. I'm going to fireball his magic archer, because he gave me um, a bunch of value, I'm not sure why. Um, we're just going to predict his battle ram with Valkyrie, and then tornado back, and predict that he's going to go in for a magic archer snipe at any second. 
I'm, I'm even gonna prediction fireball this magic archer at the bridge. Okay, so. It's gonna be GG's. I'm just gonna give him the good luck. Okay. And that's gonna. Eh, you know, okay, profile. Okay, so. <clears throat> going against Burke. What you got, Burke? What you got? Let's see it. Okay, so Dark Prince. We're just gonna set up with a Goblin Cage because I didn't really have a better cycle. Which is pretty unfortunate. Okay, so. We go Valkyrie and we're gonna have to go Ice Wizard too because that one Goblin's gonna do so much damage. Um. Thing. Kinda sucks we didn't have our. Our stuff in cycle. We're just gonna go graveyard because he was so aggressive. And um, yeah, I'm even gonna fireball because I have my bar barrel back in cycle, so yeah, that's gonna actually put us in the damage lead now. Um, I'm gonna predict that he's gonna drop something at the bridge in three, two, one. Okay, and then we're just gonna bar barrel, and that's gonna be perfect defense, I think. Yep comes down just perfectly um baby dragon okay so he really has nothing for baby dragon we're gonna try and predict his princess by going with a high goblin cage but um i don't know i just assume he has princess because like a bait deck but maybe not okay there it is i don't think he played it yet i think i just kind of assume that um, we're gonna go high ice wizard snipe because I don't think he'll predict it with a inferno tower and looks like we get it sniped. We're gonna go aggressive here because I need to cycle back to my bar barrel and we catch everything so it's not bad. Um, my graveyard gets like two hits so we're gonna go valkyrie to the side. Oof. Okay maybe I should have went a little bit more to the side. I'm gonna have to spend bar barrel as well. Okay, so, <clears throat> I think I can just set up with another cage, or no, I'll go low baby dragon, because he probably has rocket as well, so, I don't want to give him rocket value. I'm going to go high ice, ice wizard, and I think I'm going to fireball his princess in that inferno tower, because it's really annoying, and then I'm going to go valkyrie, and barbaro, that's to the side, so, um, I think... I'm gonna just set up with a goblin cage because I don't have fireball and cycle. And then we'll go for a high ice wizard so I can't rocket it. And then baby dragon, valkyrie, and I'm already back to my barb barrel, so. Um, yeah, that's just gonna be a perfectly centered one. And I think it's time to go for another graveyard. Um, okay. I'm actually just gonna set up with a cage because he's got two princesses. Uh, two princesses on the map, and I need to take care of them. I'm not gonna let that build up. I'm gonna go Valkyrie to the side. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for a graveyard now, because his Inferno is like basically dead, and then, yeah, we won. So, pretty, pretty good game there. Um. Jump to the next one. Yeah, he was okay. And see how we do. Alright, so Goblin Cage. We're gonna go Barbarian Barrel. And then this is probably Graveyard. So I'm just gonna go Valkyrie. And I'm gonna use that Goblin Brawler to activate my King Tower, but if he goes with like a Baby Dragon... Oh god. Yeah. I think we're, we're gonna lose now. So I'm just gonna go for a Graveyard on his side. Because I don't think we get to defend that. And then I think I'm gonna have to Fireball, yeah. And he has Log instead of Barbaro, so he actually... Like, defends like way easier, so... 
Um, that's gonna be GG's. I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, so I played this one off cam, and, um, of course I faced somebody who's pretty, pretty good. He's pretty decent. Um, and this can be, like, a pretty difficult matchup if they play, like, kinda well. I don't know. If you have Fireball, it's way better than Poison in this matchup because everything gets healed up and the Poison doesn't have time to kill the uh, Electro Dragon and the Baby Dragon, so... It can get, like, really annoying, and you guys are going to see, like, a crazy defense. So I thought I should show this because, um, you basically do not go graveyard in single elixir almost no matter what. You should just try to defend, like, no matter what, you just try to defend with your troops. Um, and if they give you value, you have to do a tornado fireball and get the baby dragon to splash. Like, that's the key in this matchup. Like, the electro dragon has to die so like right here you're gonna see how i'm gonna actually fireball that right there and he gives me baby dragon value my baby dragon locks on his baby dragon i can defend with a um goblin cage and then just tornado everything away and that's pretty clean defense and my goblin brawler is not gonna have enough health so he can't activate his king tower off of either one of my troops so Super clean defense there. And I have a pretty good cycle now. Another key is do not let them get your baby dragon and your ice wizard out of cycle. Like, if you use it, you need to cycle back to them. See, I'm, like, trying not to... I'm trying not to cycle my baby dragon. Because um, you need either a baby dragon or an ice wizard, but more of a baby dragon because... You have to kill the Electro Dragon no matter what, otherwise they're going to support their push. Um, and this is why you can't go Graveyard. Like, you'll see when the perfect time is, like, in this game, you'll see when it, like, I finally get an advantage on him. But you have to play it super, super slow. So I'm even cycling a Barbara on the back, cycling a Valkyrie, I'm trying to cycle t Two, uh, two baby dragons here. Um, so Goblin Brawler is going to lock onto his his stuff. So, okay, that's a lot of fireball value. So I'm going to fireball all of it. Unfortunately, I missed his baby dragon right there. But this gets, like, pretty insane. So we're going to go low Valkyrie. Because I knew he would tornado all that. And I'm just trying to cycle back to another fireball at this point. I know he's going to play something at the bridge. So I'm going to go for, like, a fireball to the back, kind of. And, yeah. So we get a clean defense right there. And that's why Fireball is just so much better. If you have Fireball, this is a pretty good matchup, I would say. As long as you don't mistake and go Graveyard and Single Elixir. Like, I still haven't even used my Graveyard. And there's a minute and 50 seconds left. So I'm finally trying to kill this Electro Dragon here. And then I'm going to go Ice Wizard to the left side. And, because I thought he would support that with something. I think he's going to drop something at the bridge, but he didn't, so. Um, that's pretty bad, but I don't, I don't really care. Because his baby dragon, like, basically was dead, so. I'm just going to go Barbell to protect my Ice Wiz. And because he just spent an Electro Dragon, and he spent a Barb Hut, he has, like, no Elixir right now. So I went in for a Graveyard to try and punish him. Because he literally just spent like 13 elixir, so. He's been going for a push on the other side, so. I'm gonna tornado everything before my stuff crosses to the other side. Just so it walks back to help out on defense right now. And I can bar barrel and ice wizard down low. We're gonna go baby dragon too. So, like, because. Those are pretty OP, and now that we have so many counter-pushing troops, now we're going to go in for, like, Tornado Fireball. Um, yeah, that's going to kill all this stuff. We're just going to bark all on the right side. We even leaked some elixir right there, so I didn't mess up my cycle. Just, like, a tiny bit. So we're going to go Tornado Fireball, and that's why Fireball is so much better. Go bar barrel, and I think he's gonna 
doesn't give up yet. It's so crazy. Um. Yeah, I don't even think he loses his tower here. Pretty crazy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. Peace.